да, слава Богу, пустой был. Вон. Там горит. Вот у него вот обзор с другой стороны. Мне прям в него попало, елки по. Так, и надо уходить. Там тоже, блядь, Урал Десантно-штурмовая. Мощная машина. С продуктами совсем, блядь. Все выгорело. Но, увы, выведена из строя. Блять, вот в Чечне, да, вот такая. В Чечне, Афган, вообще-то техника вообще... Камикадзе добрался до машинки. Бля. Сжег машинки. Он горит, бля. Камикадзе сжег машину. Вот. Взорвалась. Батарейка лежит, вот эта фигня. Должна лететь. Бьет, ударила по машине. О. Ребята бросили машину, бежали. Russia will launch new offensive aimed to capture entire Donetsk and Luhansk in June. Ukraine. Russia intends to initiate a significant summer offensive in June with the objective of seizing the entirety of Donetsk and Luhansk oblasts, Kirill Budanov, head of Ukrainian military's main intelligence directorate, told the Washington Post. After that, Russians will focus on U.S. presidential elections in the fall, chief of the main intelligence directorate said. Before the inauguration of U.S. president, they will try to get as much territory as possible in Donetsk and Luhansk, he stated. Russians probably hope that Donald Trump will be able to ratify their achievements if he will be re-elected. American Institute for the Study of War wrote that Russian troops will likely continue offensive operations until spring of 2024 and prepare for a summer offensive on March the 23rd. In an interview with CBS News, President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that Russia could be preparing a counter-offensive in late May or early June. He said that Ukraine needs the help of its partners to prepare its brigades for enemy actions. According to Politico, Ukrainian military believes that during the summer offensive, Russia could push front lines in Ukraine in areas where it will concentrate its main forces. Bloomberg also reported, citing Western officials familiar with the situation, that Ukraine is in its most precarious position in more than two years of war waged by Russia due to a lack of ammunition, troops and air defense systems. The US and the EU are concerned that Russian forces may punch through Ukrainian defensive lines in the coming weeks. People familiar with the matter have told Bloomberg. Ukraine also faces daily Russian missile, drone and bomb attacks that are knocking out key energy infrastructure and striking military positions due to its lack of air defences, according to Bloomberg. Because of this, concerns are mounting that Russia may make major gains in the coming weeks by punching through overstretched Ukrainian lines, sources in the US and Europe told the agency. Kirill Budanov earlier said that Russians were planning to intensify combat actions in late May and early June 2024. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed a bill to provide additional aid to Ukraine after months of delay. 
The volume of the package is $60.84 billion. Some $23.2 billion of the military aid will be used to replenish U.S. weapon stockpiles, $11.3 billion are allocated for current U.S. military operations in the region. Another $13.8 billion will be used for the purchase of weapons systems, defense products, and defense services. Some $26 million are for supervision of the assistance provided. The bill requires partners and allies to pay a fair share based on mandatory cost comparisons. It also raises financial limits on some presidential spending cutting powers. The bill will be sent to the Senate for final decision, and then to President Joe Biden for ratification.